Hey, what's up, my friends? So, you know, often I get comments by traders who say stuff like, you know, oh, I've identified a good risk to reward trade. You know, I'm risking a dollar to make five dollars. And yeah, you know, it sounds right, you're risking a dollar to make five dollars. But the thing is this you can identify a good risk to reward trade, but still lose money in the long run. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, right, you could have uh, identified a poor risk to reward trade. Perhaps, you know, risking a dollar to make 50 cents. But in the long run, you can still be consistently profitable with a poor risk to reward. So the risk to reward equation is only half of the picture. So in this video post, I will share with you what are the four factors that you need to know that will determine whether your trading system will be profitable in the long run. Alrighty, so let's first understand why your risk to reward is not everything. So let's first start off by imagining this, right? Imagine you've identified a potential one to five risk to reward trade. Right? You tell yourself this is a good trade because I am risking a dollar to make five dollars. So it's a good trade. So you took on a trade. But at the back of your mind, there's something else that you need to consider, which is this, is that you only achieve this risk to reward 10% of the time. This means that you know you only attain a one to five risk to reward 10% of the time. And now brings me this question to you. Will you make money in the long run? So a very simple way that you can find out, right, it's a very simple hypothetical example is what I like to do is this. Just do out 10 trades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? So you only achieve a one to five risk to reward 10% of the time. So that means out of 10 trades, only one trade achieve a one to five risk to reward. Let's assume you risk a dollar on each trade, right? You risk a dollar on each trade. So when you attain a one to five risk to reward, technically what you had is you made $5. And 90% of the time, the remaining nine trades over here are basically losers. So when you risk a dollar, you will lose a dollar. So when you have nine losers in a row, you'll lose technically $9. Now, the question you have to ask yourself, in the long run, will I be profitable or not? So what you can do is just take the two numbers, the $9 and the $5, negative 9 plus 5, and you realize that you had a return of negative $4. So if you are going to apply this trading methodology of yours that gives you a 1 to 5 risk to reward, but only 10% of the time, you are going to be a net loser in the long run, right? The more you repeat this trading pattern, the more you lose in the long run because clearly, despite having a good risk to reward, the probability is not sufficient for it to play out to make you profitable in the long run. Are you with me? So now, let's look at another slide and in this slide, we'll do the opposite. Imagine you got a, a poor risk to reward trade. You're basically risking a dollar to make 50 cents, a poor risk to reward trade by many. But when you look at the probability factor, you realize that you achieve this trade 90% of the time. This means that you know you win 90% of the time. Now brings to me the question, will you make money in the long run? And again, I like to use a very simple hypothetical example. Let's have 10 trades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you make money 90% of the time. So let's assume you risk a dollar as well. And since this is a poorer risk to reward trade, for every dollar you risk, you only make 50 cents. So nine trades multiplied by 50 cents is a net gain of 450. And this last losing trade here basically cost you negative $1. So now the question is, did you make money in the long run? Or will you make money in the long run? So what you do is you take the 450 over here, minus off with the dollar, and you realize that you have a net gain of 350. So will you make money in the long run? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. So now you're scratching your head, you're wondering, so Rainer, what is the thing that matters, right? Clearly, you know, 
I had a good risk to reward trade, but I lose money in the long run. And on this slide, you show me I have a poor risk to reward trade and I make money in the long run. So what's going on? So, well, let me explain to you what are the things that matter and what will determine whether you are profitable over the long run. The first thing you need to know is the average size of your wins. So this means that over a large sample of trades, you need to know what is the average size of your wins. How much are you winning on average? The second thing you need to know is the average size of your loss. So meaning after a large sample of trades, you need to know how much are you losing on tr your trades on average. Last but not least, you need to know what is your winning and losing rate. Once you got down these four factors, then you can determine whether you can be a consistently profitable trader in the long run. And if you notice, this basically is your average risk to reward. Right? This over here will basically give you your average risk to reward over here. Your average wins and your average loss will determine what is your average risk to reward. So now, when you got those four factors down, you can then calculate what is I call expectancy. Right? Expectancy is a very common speculating term, right? In gambling, in sports betting, they all talk about expectancy and also use in trading. So the first thing in your expectancy equation is this. You need to have to know what is your winning rate. And you multiply it by your average size of your wins. You bracket this two up and then you determine what is your losing rate, multiply it by the average size of your loss, and this is basically your transaction cost. Let's call it TC, transaction cost. So once you got down all these factors into this equation, you'll get a number. If you have a positive number, it basically tells you that you have a positive expectancy in the market and you will be profitable over the long run if you apply the same methodology in your trading. However, if after plugging in these numbers, you realize that you have a negative expectancy. This means that in the long run, you will lose money. So clearly in this short presentation, you realize that you know your risk to reward is not everything. There are other factors to take into account as well, which is your winning and losing rate. Similarly, winning and losing rate is not enough because you also need to take into account your average risk to reward. So now you understand no, what matters. What matters is number one, your average risk to reward. How much are you making? Sorry, how much you, you make for every dollar you risk? Number two, you need to know what is your winning and losing rate. When you can get these two factors down, right? The third one is, a, is the, actually the transaction cost over here. When you can get all these three factors down, you will know whether you'll be a consistently profitable trader over the long run. So don't be misled by traders you know, saying that, oh, this is a poor risk to reward trade. Oh, that is a good risk to reward trade. Because honestly, that don't matter. Because you do not know what are the probability behind those trades. Once you can identify the probability behind those trades, then you can make a meaningful conclusion whether the trading pattern, the trading system you're using, whether it works over the long run. So yep, that's all I have for you in this presentation, in this video post. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions or, or doubts, feel free to leave in the comment section below. With that, I wish you good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.